This is the Pinacate Desert, one of Mexico's driest and most hostile landscapes. The last place one would think might appeal to migrants. Yet hidden deep in the bowels of this volcanic cave, protected from the searing heat above, is a refuge for more than 300,000 female lesser long-nosed bats. After mating in southern Mexico in winter, they followed a nectar trail of blossoming cactus flowers north for 1,000 miles until arriving in the Pinacate Desert. Here, hidden beneath the earth, they give birth. This dark, humid cave keeps their young cool in the day and warm at night. 40 feet off the ground, these two weak old pups huddle together, safely out of reach from any predators. Too young to fly, the pups rely completely on their mother's milk. To keep up their supply, the females must feed every night. Nearly 50 miles from the cave, they find what they've been looking for, the night bloom of a large saguaro cactus. Each sweet-smelling blossom opens its milk-white petals for only one night of the year. Like a hummingbird, the long-nosed bat hovers in front of the flowers, using her long nose and tongue to lap up the sugary nectar inside. Each female must visit up to 100 flowers every night to produce enough milk for her pup. As she feeds, she pollinates. If this mutually beneficial relationship breaks, neither could survive. The bats will remain here until late summer when their young will wean and the wilting cactus flowers trigger their return south. <laughs>